Hi there, and welcome to this video tutorial in the How to Model series. Today we are going to be discussing scale. At the end of this tutorial, you will know what is meant by scale, factors to consider when choosing a scale for your model, and also how to scale from a photograph. An understanding of scale is fundamental to the scale modeling process, and fortunately, the basic principles are very easy to understand. This video helps explain the principles of scale and the reason for the many different types of scale available to modelers. The scale of a model is expressed usually as a ratio. For example, 1 is to 30, and this indicates the size of the model compared to the original object that it is replicating. If we take this car here, for example, a 1 to 10 scale car has dimensions exactly 10 times smaller than the original. If the original car was 2.4 meters in length, the model will be 24 centimeters in length at a 1 is to 10 scale. A model that is 1 is to 1 scale would be obviously exactly the same size as its original. Put simply, the ratio of the length in a drawing or model to the length of the, of the real thing is what is meant by scale. Or an easier way to remember that is model is to reality. Or again, M is to R. There are a number of factors we should consider when choosing a scale for our model. First of all, there's the cost. The larger the scale, the more likely you are to have to spend more money on each model, because as models get bigger, they require more material to make. Time. Larger the scales generally require a larger investment in time, because the model is bigger, it takes a lot longer to make. Availability. What is the availability of your chosen speciality in each scale? Will you need to buy parts to your model? If so, can these parts be got at the scale that you have chosen? Storage and display. Before you can begin making a model, make sure you have the space reserved to store it while you are making it and display it when you are finishing it. Satisfaction. What size and level of detail model do you most enjoy making? And what size will you get most satisfaction from when you stand back and look at your completed project? Would you prefer to look back at a smaller model or one that's very big? Next, we will show you how to scale from a picture or a photograph. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how we actually scale from a drawing or a photo. So what you can see here is I have the outline of a building shown. It can be the same as you having a photograph of your building. And I don't know what distance I was while I took this photo. I don't know what sizes, any, anything, on the photo is except I do know that the true height of this wall is two and a half meters high so this is 2.5 meters high from the ground level right up to where the roof begins just there so using that information I can actually scale up or scale down this photo in this case we're going to scale it up now the first thing we'll do is we'll draw a common ground line using our T-square. So that's the ground line there now that we're going to be using as a reference point. So I said before that I know this height of this wall here is 2.5 meters high. So I'm going to measure on my drawing a line. I can measure it here. I can measure it over here. Or I can measure it here. It doesn't matter at this point in time yet. So I'm just going to pick it somewhere around here. I'm going to mark off my height that I know. And I'm going to draw a line across the page. So I'm going to heavy that in now. So I know at the scale that I have picked from this point here to this point here is now at my scale 2.5 meters in height. Okay, I might just put that in the red there. And I'm also going to label these bottom points here. So I'm going to label that one, two, three, and four. And you can see this is a doorway here. 
so this line here is now represented here at my proper scale and at my proper height. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect this top point here with the corresponding top point here that I measured from. And this is going to give me a reference point that I'm going to measure everything else off the drawing in. That's why it didn't matter whether I knew the outside of this in measurements or not. So this is now my reference point on the ground. We call it R for reference. So what we're going to do next is we're going to swing down these widths here. So the width from 1 to 2, from 1 to 3, and from 1 to 4. And we're going to swing them down onto a line that we draw down vertically from the point 1, because we were measure measuring everything off 1 originally. So as we swing them down, so swing down point 2. So we'll swing that down, we'll put the point of our compass at 1, and we'll swing down the width of 1, 2. We'll swing down the width of 1, 3. And we'll swing down the width of 1, 4. And we'll bring all them points from our reference point down onto our measuring line there on our scaled drawing. And what we're going to do here again, because we because we swung them because we swung them from one, we're going to do the exact same over here, and we're going to swing them back up onto our new drawing. So what this is giving us now is the true width at our drawing scaled up, 3 and 4. Now, to get this point here, we'll call it point A, up at the top of the, up top of the peak of the roof. We'll bring up our width from 4, because A is directly above 4. We'll bring that directly up with our set square. And as before, from our reference point, we bring a point through A. And this point here now represents our point A on our scaled up drawing. So what we have to do is connect A down to 1, as in A, down to a line above 1 here. And you can now see we have the drawing scale up for a point two and point three two and three which make up the height of the door we'll bring them vertically up and as we've done before we'll use our reference point bring it through point two above the door it gives us one point on the door and bring it through point three, and that gives us our other point on the door. And that's our drawing scaled up. So remember, it doesn't matter what size this is, at the start from your photo, as long as you know one measurement, you draw that measurement in on your scaled up drawing and you bring that point back to the point you knew originally on the height and again gives you a reference point and 
everything then is swung, swung from that reference point. So we bring everything through it and you bring your measuring line down on your drawing and you correspond that with your scaled up drawing. And you swing down all your widths, bring them through the reference point here again and onto that corresponding line and we swing them all back up onto our ground line which you drew originally. And that's how you scale up from a drawing.